Hi guys, it's Crystal with Emerson Aurora Design and today I'm going to show you how I made these hand painted flowers on an ombre base. I'm starting off with a 25 ounce um, modern curve tumbler that I purchased from the Stainless Steel Depot. I did base paint it a pretty yellow and a pale pink here as you can see in an ombre fashion and I'm using these three chunky mix glitters that I have on hand. Um, they're not from any specific glitter brand. There are some that I purchased um, online and I am using a pretty kind of hot pink, a bright yellow, and a coral. And they're all very similar cut, chunky mix glitters. I did place um, a small amount of epoxy on my tumbler, on my turner here, and I'm going to lay the glitter down uh, by pouring it into my hand first and then just sprinkling across the glitter. I'm laying down the pink first and then the yellow on the opposite side with some of the coral in between to make a nice transition. The reason why I'm laying my glitter down like this is it will be able to lay flatter on that epoxy and give me less hassle later on so that glitter will lay nice and flat. And don't forget the bottom, I'm just using that mix for the bottom. I'm going to let this cure. And I will put, I think I put about two to three layers of epoxy on over the glitter to make that all nice and smooth. But first I forgot that I did <laughs> lay this uh, fine cut white opal on the, um, over the glitters there to just fill in any spaces that I might have missed. And since this is opal, it does pick up on the other colors so you don't really see and it doesn't really dull down the color. Sorry for jumping ahead, but I'm going to let this uh, cure and then I'm going to put about two, two to three more layers of epoxy on this, let them cure in between each time before we move on to our next step, which is the hand painting of the flowers. And there's a pretty close up of that gorgeous glitter. So these are the colors I'm using. For each color I'm using, I have one paint is a um, kind of a color shift from Arteza, and the other one is just a plain acrylic in the shade that I'm choosing. And here is that gorgeous, gorgeous glitter under epoxy. My finish is nice and smooth. I did put three layers of epoxy over this chunky glitter because it did take quite a bit. I want my uh, area to be nice and smooth. So I'm just going to Picking up the paint half with my brush, half on one side of the pretty shimmery paint. These are all acrylic paints, guys. Um, halfway in between both, just to get a good mix and just laying that as I go. Um, it gives a neat texture to the flowers. And here I'm just doing kind of a flower shape. I want to do a different shape for each color. So in my oranges here, I am doing more of a round shape. Really, there's no right or wrong way when you're doing flowers. You can do them all in this round shape. They don't have to be perfectly symmetrical because no flower is perfectly symmetrical. I'm just laying down a base for my flowers. And I wanted to use colors that really match the paint or the glitters that I use. I'm um, using like tangerine, a yellow, and a pretty pink kind of light purple mix with green for my flowers. So I'm going to go in with the pink. Now I'm making kind of like a, almost like a daisy design. It may be kind of hard to tell against that pink in this from this angle. So I'm just kind of swooping back and forth with my brush using the side of my brush to kind of make a petal shape. And since I'm using acrylic paints over the already epoxied tumbler, if you make a mistake, guys, just wipe it off with a paper towel. This is a very forgiving type of tumbler. And really, there's, like I said, there's no wrong way. If the blob looks kind of funky to you, don't worry. It'll look pretty once we're all done because this is an abstract type of art. So here I'm going to make actual little swoops of petals. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I'm just starting outside of the flower and swooping in kind of like a daisy. Or a sunflower, I guess. Now this will requir 
require two coats on each flower because I want that paint to be pretty uh, thick. I don't want it to be transparent. So what, I don't know if I show it in my video here because I edited this a few days ago. Sorry guys, but I am going to go through and paint all these flowers, let this dry, and then do a second coat where I see fit. And definitely that yellow will need a second coat for sure. And probably my green, which you'll see here in a minute. I always paint my flowers first and then go back and do my leaves. Um, you can do it any way you really want. And you don't even have to do leaves if you don't want to. I just liked the contrast of the pink, yellow, and orange with the green. Now as a side note, I did not sand my tumbler before doing the paint portion just in case I needed to wipe it off. I didn't want any of that acrylic paint to get it in any sanded uh, scratches on the um, epoxy. So make sure that you do that. Um, to make sure your tumbler is nice and smooth before you do your painting. So here I'm just going in and making little leaf shapes. I make right now it's kind of like a vine that I'm doing. I know it's hard to see. I'm sorry for that, but I'll show you on the camera here in just a second. Almost like I did the petals, just kind of in a little three, three leaf um, design. And there around the flower, I'm just doing little teardrop shaped, essentially a teardrop shaped um, leaf. I love these colors together. They're so summery, and this tumbler. It reminds me of Starburst candy. I, it's the colors, I think. I hope you guys are having a beautiful summer so far. It has been so hot here in southern Indiana. Um, today is actually the first wonderfully lovely day we've had after over 100 degree heat the last week. So we have been enjoying the sunshine and be, being able to be outside without sweating so bad today. So we've been having a good time. And I'm sorry I've been missing for a couple weeks and haven't had a video up in a couple weeks. I was away and out of town on vacation, enjoying my summer. Like I said, I hope you guys are having a beautiful summer so far and enjoying all that beautiful sunshine with your family. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame here. Hard to be artistic and stay in frame guys I do the best I can so I'm gonna let this dry completely and touch up where I can and here I'm showing you the second coat of paint that I went through and see how nice that is it has a 3d effect so I am going to add a, a, a layer of epoxy over this now this is the a couple days later the epoxy is nice and cured so my my tumbler is nice and smooth and I'm going in with my white paint marker here this is by Zero, I believe, Zero Terra to Zero. It's like carrot with a T and a Z. <laughs> anyway, I purchased them on Amazon. I'll leave those in the link below. Um, I really like these paint markers. I, I've had good luck with these. So doing my outlines is just like whenever I do any outlines with like my geodes or any other tumbler. This is very abstract. I'm just kind of loosely following the shape of my petals here to get a nice flower shape. There is no right way to do these flowers, guys. Even if you don't think that you're a very good artist or you can't draw even a stick figure, you can still trace the shape of a flower. There, there are so many flowers in this world, and you know what? There's even just, uh, you know, abstract flowers too. So I'm just tracing this around to kind of make it look like flower petals. I'm trying really hard to not get my hand in the paint. The paint pen takes a few minutes to dry. So I'm going to go through and do all my yellow flowers first so that I kind of get them similar and then I'll do my or you know my other colors too. So you can see I'm not completely covering each petal. It's just a suggestion of an outline. <laughs> We'll call these daisies. How about that? Yellow daisies. <laughs> I 
I love how this kind of gives a 3D look to my flowers. Since you have the glitter levels in the background and then with the epoxy layer and then the paint and then epoxy layer, it really gives a 3D effect and it really is visually pleasing. These are just beautiful tumblers. I love, 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 love creating these. I love other wa watching other creators creating these. Whenever I come across videos of people paint uh, using a paint pen on their mark on their tumblers, I can't talk today, you guys. Um, I absolutely get drawn in. I sit there and watch them paint on their tumbler, and I'm just like transfixed. <laughs> There's just something about it that I really enjoy. You can see that that acrylic paint that I have is really pretty. It has like a translucent effect. I purchased those paints from Arteza and it came in a pack of multicolors. I can leave a link to that paint set in the description box below. I'm really happy with them. They're really pretty paints. So I'm going to, the yellow ones are dry. You just want to make sure they're dry in between so you don't accidentally get your hand stuck in there and mess up your lines. Now this design here with the orange ones is one of my favorite ways to make petals. I just start off with four little petals and then I'm just kind of going around and you see I'm doing little squigglies. I'm trying not to match up each uh, petal exactly. They're going to be offset from each other. Um, almost like a little, eh, I guess kind of a spiral, but not quite. But they're just little petals. Like I said, you can't go wrong with this. This one, to me, is the easiest way to make petals and they are just so visually pleasing. So I'm just going around until the very end of the paint. And there you go. Look how easy that one was. And it is so pretty. They remind me of marigolds. That's what I like, this orange ones. Marigolds. So start off kind of like with a four-leaf clover pattern. And then just go from there. I'm trying not to draw my petals over the leaves. I'm leaving a little bit of space there, and I'll go in and do my leaves last. You can see this coming together. It's kind of a trust the process. But there isn't a day that goes by that I, when I pick up this tumbler, because of course I kept this one for myself. <laughs> There doesn't a day go by that I drink out of this cup that I just sit there and I stare at it because I think it's so pretty. And I know, I know, I made it, so I'm a little biased, but I love it. And I hope you guys enjoy this too. I think this would be so pretty with purples and blues or purples and pinks. I really love the pink and yellows right now. They are just I don't know. There's neon pink and neon yellow are like my favorite thing right now this summer. So all the orange ones are finished. I didn't want to bore you with all of those. But for the pink ones, I kind of want to make these rounded petal shapes starting from the center of the flower. And I'm just following kind of the shape that I made with my paintbrush. a little squiggly at the end. You don't have to do that. I just thought it needed something extra. And a little squiggly swirl in the center. 
so cute. That's all you need. I'm just going to go around and do those for each one of these pretty fuchsia pink flowers. And you can see it's just a teardrop shape. It's easy to get overwhelmed when you're freehand painting, but if you break everything down into single shapes, it actually is a lot easier than you think. Hand painted flowers on tumblers is becoming one of my favorite ones to do recently. So you'll see some more of these tutorials coming up. They just scream summer to me. Going over my lines again, my paint brush, my paint marker was a little bit needed an extra little oomph with my paint here. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that dry for a minute, and then I'm gonna go in and do my leaves. Well, before my leaves, I, I needed something more on those yellow flowers, so I'm gonna add some lines on each petal to kind of make it look like they have some texture and a center. There we go. That looks better. And see, I'm just making a scriggly, like a scribble. <laughs> it's doodling, guys. We're doodling on a cup. Little memory I have of my mom whenever she was on the telephone. You know, the old school telephones with the cords, you know, the landlines. <laughs> Every time she was on the phone, she would have a little notepad and she'd always be doodling right there and she would have doodles all over she couldn't be on the phone without doodling it was cute so this kind of reminds me of her doodles there we go let that dry I'm gonna go in with my uh, leaves here like I said try to let the paint dry so your hand doesn't get in it I did accidentally um, smudge a couple lines but you know what no worry you could take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and wipe off that marker the paint marker and just go back over and fix your lines. Simple, simple leaf shapes here. And the leaves, the drawing of the leaves is a lot more even abstract than the flowers are because most of those don't have little points or anything, but I wanted them to look like they have points, so I'm just drawing them with my paint marker here. See how easy that is? Tear, teardrop shape with a little line in the center. Easy peasy. Look at how beautiful that is. So I did put another layer of epoxy on this, sanded my rim, cleaned it nicely, and look how gorgeous she is. I love this tumbler. I am truly inspired, and I am going to be making more of these for sure in different color combinations.
Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys learned something new today, and I hope you give this a try too. Like I said, don't be worried. If you don't think you're an artist, if you're making tumblers, you are definitely an artist. So just dive in, guys. You don't know what you could do until you try it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was considered, because I can't even talk. Consider subscribing. Hit that like button. Hit that bell button to get notifications when more of my videos come up. You can leave a question or comment in the description or down below. And I will get back with you as best I can. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.